do you feel that that has kept you in the game this long in terms of not chasing numbers, having not chased the numbers? How do you feel that to reflect your physique? Meaning you said you were much stronger, however many years back. Do you think that that's, that's have it. That's had a reflection on how your physique looks. Like when you were stronger, do you feel your physique was looking different, maybe more muscular, etc. Than maybe when you're not chasing numbers or not as strong. I would love you to, for you to just touch on that. Yeah, I don't. You know, you know, being younger, you just have more testosterone and everything, right? So I was just bigger when I was younger, stronger just by default, right? But never. You know, there's some guys that are just naturally really strong. It seems they can push a lot of weight. I was never that guy. My but my physique responded well, uh, and I didn't have to do. Let's say where you're going in, and I'm I'm you know deadlifting whatever it might be, 450 for reps, and you know that kind of thing, or 400. And if you can do that, that's great. But like I said, there were things that I realized that for whatever reason, my body just seemed to have some ailments from and took a little longer to recover. And I hear a lot of guys now, even when they're training, have, you know, they post something to say, hey, finally getting back to, you know, being able right. to deadlift again without any pain, right? So, you know, where's the happy medium there? That's great. How much did you lose as a result of, you know, not being able to do it for two years or however long it's been? But if it's something you enjoy uh, and you've learned to do it differently, or maybe you were doing it in a way that was causing certain things to be compromised and now you've adjusted and you can do it differently, great. Typically, guys equate, there is some validity to it, that if I'm going up in weight, that I'm building muscle. And that is true, depending on your body type. I know some guys are strong as heck, but their bodies don't change as much. So, right. you know what I mean? I mean, yes. To your point, yes, I don't chase numbers. I don't feel like they it works for me. You can always add a little more volume and you can always change how you're going to do your counts mm. or your exercises, you know, whether you're going to have a little bit more of a, you know, up fast, down slow, get a resist and it really cause those fibers and then explode through and then down mm. slow. You know what I mean? Whether I'm doing the, the carrying machine where I, you know, I'm really just trying to get it up and just hold it or whether I have somebody... Now, where I go heavy, my a friend of mine who kind of back in the day, and he's at this gym now, I ran into him. He was the guy that used to finish his workout and kind of follow me around and help me. We're good friends, and we trained the other day. And he's the guy that, as I go a little heavier, when he's there, when, I, when I'm going to get it up, he'll, he'll help me get it up, and then I'll let Slow it down. down. I, you know, then we'll get it up, and then I'll let it. But those are the only times I'm doing where I'm really not trying to do something. I'm just squeezing. He's getting it up for me. Got it. Press it as much as possible to get it up there and then hold that weight, get it down there. Right. And that really just starts changing my muscle, how my muscles look, how things feel. Yeah. The eccentrics. Feel this. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and then I kind of get that feel, that pose to kind of see what's, what's going on, what's happening, where I want to hit that focus at. So it can so, be, matter of fact, more effective doing a different variety of exercises and how you change that count. Okay. So it's, you know, it's interesting because I, it could be a generation thing too. Cause when I spoke to uh, Martin Daniels, I, I'm sure you're familiar. Are you familiar with Martin oh, Daniels? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 So yes. Oh, of course. He, it's, like it's a similar thing, not chasing the weight, ch a lot of chasing the sensation pump, getting the focus in the right areas and not just overly concerned with having to do one more rep than last time or a little bit right. more weight than last time for this specific exercise. So I find that very interesting. And it, 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 it intrigues me a lot because obviously if we're talking about doing this for years to last and I'm looking at, okay, what's Marshall doing and how is he doing things or Martin or Philip or, yeah. you know, it, it, it intrigues me because it's like, well, if they're able to do that at that age, maybe you want to start adopting some of those principles at a younger age you know what I mean? Maybe that's sure, a valuable sure. to that. Maybe that's sure, a valuable sure. thing because I've gotten caught where I'm overly, I get, I get trapped sometimes where I, yeah, you yeah. know, the ego, right. You want to, you want to chase the heavier oh, load. Oh yeah. 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 Sure. And then, and then you're pushing into territory that it's high risk. Right. And you're like, well, wait a minute. What if I just slow down the reps a bit, maybe get a pause in there. And then all of a sudden, yeah, the reps went down and maybe even the weight went down sometimes. But then you could build that back up over time. That's cool too, right? I don't know, just little yeah, things that sure. has me has the wheels turning in my mind where it's because uh, at the end of the day, we're, it's bodybuilding. It's not, like you said, it's not powerlifting, right? 
Right, right. Yeah, if, if, if your body type is one that allows you to do that, that's great. But I find from looking, at, at, even like I said, at the gym, I find that that's usually not the case. And, you know, results of injuries and things that I see guys, you know, once I'm talking to them, hey, I can't do that right now because this is going on. Then I realize, hmm, you know what, that wouldn't have been worth it, you know, for me to do. Um, yes. You know, speaking of ego, you know, the other day I was training and uh, what were we doing? The, uh, Oh, I guess it was the Just Fly Machine and a couple of the guys at the gym, pretty big boys. I think one weighs two, about 60, big, dense, all that. And, and they were just hammering. I mean, they're hammering these things. I said, absolutely, man. But I realized I did go up a little more and I thought, it's no way I can even do whatever. But you feel like, hey, I need to do more. But, you know, I realized the short order. No, we're not going yeah. to jump up in an area. No way that I need to. But in your mind, this is a guy thing, right? You're jail, you get pumped, they're hitting it, they're getting yeah. it. One more rep, come on, squeeze, 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 squeeze. You got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, yeah, 4, yeah. 3, 2. Why don't you try get it, get it, get it, get it? Five, 10, five, five, ten. And you know, you get in that zone like, yeah, hey, yeah. Going, dude, you can do another 10. <laughs> you know, and it's like, it's like, okay, here we go. I got to recover from this. These guys, I think one's like 29, 30, right? Yeah. 32. Dude, they yes. got, you know, they're good. If they have an injury, they recover in a couple of weeks. But me, it'd be like, you know what? My shoulder's already bothered, so I really got to be careful. That whole thing, that, that movement, you know? But yes. yeah, that ego kind of gets in there. You just, you get pumped, right? You get the right. pump. The energy is there. They are going at it. You know, they're cheering you on. Yo, dude, come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. You got it, got it. Give me one more, yeah. give me one more, give me one. And you're like, the shoulder's like, I'm not. I do it. Stop. Yeah. The shoulder, I'm like, I'm like, dude, that's, that's it. That's it. Oh, man, good sense. I'm thinking. If I do one more of this thing, I'm going to regret this for the next month and a half. Yes. Dude, I shouldn't have gone. I shouldn't have jumped, went up another 10 pounds. I should have just stayed there. Yes. You know, but it is funny that ego, man, will get you. It'll get you. Get you places man. where you just like later when the music has stopped and, and the lights are off, so to speak, you know. Yes. And you're regretting it in your bed and you're thinking, oh, why did I do that? Right. Um, why did I do that? It's funny no, it's, you should it, say it, that. You know, it's true. Ego. It's true. I, I, I've had to stop certain exercises because I'm like, this is not longevity. This is not sustained. If I'm not going to be doing this when I'm 40 yeah. or 50, why am I? Why am I doing it now? Kind of thing. Because yeah. it's a short lived. Yeah. It's a short lived thing. Like there's obviously your body adapts and changes, and there's going to be an sure. evolution to how you approach things naturally. Right, but right, for the right. things that you know, you know in your mind, like, hey, maybe I should not be doing this and this. Because right now it doesn't feel good. And chances are, maybe it just doesn't agree with your body, period, right? So, That's right. That's right. Exactly. You got it. You got it. So awesome. I'm that, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a proponent of, uh, you know, like I said, once again, worth repeating, train to train another day. I was curious about how you're doing things now. And if it changed when you were competing at 50 versus earlier than that, let's say training wise, 40s, how is it different now? And uh, maybe you can dive into what your training is like as far as your routine, what your frequency is like. That would be really cool right. for the listeners just to hear how you're doing things. Right, right. Well, okay, yeah, segue into that. You know, there's so many avenues 